Right, so in this video, we're talking about binaural beats and are they really effective? Do they, do they actually work? And I want to just break down a few things here because firstly, there's been a lot of people asking about this and saying, you know, it's a mixed thing, right? Lots, some people say it doesn't work, some people say it does work, and then some people like haven't really tried it, but they just have heard that it doesn't work, so they just kind of repeat that information. And this, by the way, this is not uh, biased at all. I, this should be no links to binaural beats in the description. This is just me talking about my experiences and what I think. So let's let's just begin. So firstly, binaural beats, the way they work is if you imagine a tuning fork, and I've explained this in many other videos, but a tuning fork, right, when you hit it, it vibrates at a certain frequency. And if you hold that next to another tuning fork, it will, the sound waves will go through the air and slowly change the vibration and the frequency of the other tuning fork. Uh, and this is known as entrainment or you know there's many different things it's known as actually but for this for the purposes of this this is what i'm going to refer to as entrainment one thing vibrates at a certain frequency or pulses at a certain frequency and that affects the frequency and the vibration of the other thing so what happens with binaural beats is you have essentially two different tones two different frequencies played one in each ear and this only works with stereo headphones by the way so if you don't have stereo headphones it won't work and what happens is the two different tones play and your brain because it's like, I don't know, I don't know why it does this, but you, you can't hear both tones simultaneously. You have to hear one tone. And so what, what this forces the brain to do is to perceive those two different, slightly different tones as one tone. And it, you hear it as almost like this kind of pulsing. And by doing that, it forces your brain to tune itself to the frequency of, how can I explain this? The difference between the two tones is the frequency that it trains your brain to be at, if that makes sense. So let's say if the difference is X amount, like a certain number, it will force your brain into that brainwave state. And so depending on the difference between the two tones and the frequency of them, you can create a brainwave state. So you can literally force your brain to be more relaxed, more energetic, more focused, more whatever, creative. And so the science behind it and the way it works is completely solid, right? You can look at it yourself. Uh, the studies that have been done on this, it shows that it can, depending on the frequency, it can do all kinds of things. You know, you can enhance your healing ability, your learning, creativity, sleep, how relaxed you are, how good you feel. All kinds of things can be influenced by this. Just in the same way that you can influence the same things by changing your brain waves in other ways. Uh, electrical stimulation, for example, or chemical, right? So really, as long as we agree that it changes your brain waves, and the way it works to do that, then it's really no debate. The really Where the debate comes in, where things get controversial, is that, just like with anything, you have an infinite number of people in the world making and selling and providing these things. So, you're bound to get ones that just aren't that good. And with this in particular, quality is essential. It's just like with supplements, right? It really, it really matters, the quality of them. And so what happens is with binaural beats, anyone can make them online for free. You can you can make them. You can get these apps. There's all kinds of free apps you can get that do it. You can make them in Audacity, in um, on your phone even. But the problem is to actually get them to do something, you have to know what you're doing. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. If you just make them on your phone, yes, they might do something. But to you know, in my experience, I've tried pretty much. If if it's online, I've probably tried it. If, if it's sold online as a binaural beats package, I have probably tried it. Okay, I've spent a long time testing and trying these different things because, um, as you might imagine, I get reached out to constantly from people, companies, um, producers, who are begging me to try their binaural beats and promote them. And over the years, there's really only been a handful of them that I actually think are good and that I've actually tested and that I believe are good. And they're the only ones I talk about and promote and ever link to. The other ones I just don't talk about, but I, there's hundreds of them, hundreds of these different uh, companies and people that make them. And they're popping up all the time, left and right. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's crazy. It's like, um, it's like the wild west out there, okay? But in my, like I said, in my experience, there's only really four or five really good producers that I've come across 
that I know work. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who they are in this video because I don't want this to be a biased video. I don't want you to think, oh, we're just saying that so you click on the link and no, no. Uh, if you really want to know, you know, you can find them in my other videos or my site or something. But yeah, there's only four or five that I really believe in. The rest, in my experience, is a lot that are just not good. And that's, you know, who knows? Like maybe they don't know any better. Maybe they didn't know quite how to encode the sound properly. Maybe they didn't know that when you upload it to certain places, it downcodes and deregulates it and um, the effect isn't quite the same. Maybe they don't understand the different cycles of your you know, brainwave cycles and how to use ambient noises to create. You know, it could be a number of things, any number of things. The point is, the point I'm trying to get at here is they do work, but, and it's a big but, you have to get good ones. They have to be high quality and they have to know what they're doing. Otherwise, yeah, you'll just be one of the, another one of those people saying, no, they don't work, I tried it, didn't feel anything, or gave me a headache or something. No, okay, you need to, you need to get ones that are good, okay? That's a really important step. So in a nutshell, yes, I know are effective, and I've personally used them, um, um, one in particular, but I'm not gonna mention in this video, uh, has been really good, really, really good for me, and has given me results throughout the years, I've used them regularly, and there's been a couple of others as well. Um, I've used them for subliminal learning, improving sleep, relaxation, focus. I quite often actually, when I work, when I you know sit down and work on my laptop, I will do what's called power work, where I basically put binaural beats in my headphones and it enhances my brain. I'm able to think and flow much faster, much more effectively. You know, I can get three hours of work done in one hour. And the crazy things like that, you know, I've been able to do that with binaural beats. So. You know, I have to say, just from personal experience, they're really good. But yeah, that's it. I hope this made sense. See you next time.